I'm Natasha and I've been using a new radio telescope in outback Western Australia to see what the universe looks like in radio colour. We're using the Murchison Widefield Array, a precursor to the even larger Square Kilometre Array. It uses a novel design combining signals from thousands of elements scattered across the desert to build a really detailed picture of the sky. We build it in an isolated location so that it's far away from human-generated radio interference, like mobile phones. The data are piped over a fast fibre link here to the Pawsey Centre. The data rate is huge, about a Blu-ray per minute. We then use these powerful supercomputers to transform the data into images of the sky, thus creating the Galactic and Extragalactic All Sky MWA Survey, or GLEAM for short. Distant galaxies, supermassive black holes, the remains of exploded stars. In radio, we're seeing out to the edges of the universe, out to the darkness where the first stars were born. The colours in the images are real. The low frequencies are shown as red and the high frequencies are shown as blue. The colour information directly gives astronomers ideas about the astrophysics behind the objects that they're seeing. So for instance, where new stars are being born in star-forming regions, these appear blue, whereas the remains of exploded stars, supernova remnants, these appear red. You can use the Gleamoscope and the Gleam app to help us explore our beautiful, colourful universe. Thank <laughs> you.